what's up guys welcome to Techno Linux and today uh, this is a video about uh, the review of Cyanogen Mod 10.1.0 release candidate 1 uh, so this is a new uh, update of the Cyanogen Mod uh, by uh, given just on uh, 9th May and they have given this update uh, as a release candidate 1 this is the first version of the release candidate version of Cyanogen Mod 10.1 they are uh, they are doing this just because they want to uh, pack up things early uh, as soon as they w as soon as the Android, a new version of Android will come out they want to start uh, they they want to start to work on that as soon as possible so they are trying to pack up things uh, for the 10.1 and this is the first step towards it maybe in the next couple of weeks they will provide the update for the stable version and that will be the last update for Sanjin Mod 10.1 so as you can see over here uh, the Android version, the model number HTC One X, Android version 4.2.2, and the uh, Cyanogen Mod version uh, you can see over here. Uh, yeah, below down over here, 10.1.0 RC1. So this is the latest update given by Cyanogen Mod 10.1. Basically, the features of Cyanogen Mod 10.1 remain the same: the settings, the notification bar, and many many tweaks that come along with the Cyanogen Mod 10.1 uh, I'm, I'm currently using a Novo launcher over here which is exactly similar to the Cyanogen Mod launcher because uh, that's the launcher they provide uh, it's, it's similar to the Nexus one uh, over here I've made uh, oh, I can show you the widgets that come along with the uh, Cyanogen Mod 10.1 uh, the apps that they give are, uh, are quite uh, pretty uh, less so you have to install a gapps package uh, with it so you can get all the applications of google and rest of the applications uh, you can as usual get from the play store and uh, uh, you can see that uh, the default music player that they give is the apollo music player uh, and i have downloaded this player pro and google play music player from uh, the play store uh, the uh, basically the camera features are quite uh, the, the, the new thing that they they have added with this new update is that uh, they have added the functionality of uh, various time levels for a timer uh, setup and also they have added a, the, uh, this new feature which is a voice recognition feature uh, you hold it with your hands and you see a keyword which is predefined uh, so here it says whiskey so it, it recognizes sometimes it sometimes it doesn't recognize so whiskey so you can see it is it's, it isn't recognizing uh, wait a second whiskey so 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 you, you have seen that it recognized uh, it recognized the video and it recognized the voice and it clicked the pick of the of, of, of the of the scenario so this is a feature this is a quite quite a cool feature similar to the s voice the other things remain the same the nexus ui and i'm using the uh, samsung uh, samsung theme touch with theme over here the panorama is there but the photosphere is missing from the camera application uh, also the other things um, remain in, in this release candidate one update the other things remain the same uh, what you can see over here is that uh, the update makes the UI a lot more smooth and easy and stable. So, as 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 uh, as the name says, it's a release candidate one. That means that uh, it is it is able to it is quite capable of releasing for official release for official release. So, uh, it's quite nice to see that Sanjay Mod has done quite a nice work on HTC One X, and it will continue to provide support for the device uh, so as I have said earlier they are trying to pack up things as soon as possible before the Google IO event uh, or maybe the announcement of the Android 4.3 or maybe 5.0 whatever Google is going to announce at IO next week and after that they want to work on the next version of Android so this update of release candidate 1 is a very nice update I, I can say that because uh, they have given quite a lot of functionalities uh, one more thing I want to show you is the system settings uh, is the system settings in the Sanjin Mod 10.1 uh, 
the various tweaks given by the Cyanogen mod group. Uh, the status bar itself has many tweaks. You can set the style of the uh, PM or AM uh, size from here in the status bar. Uh, you can also uh, do the settings for a battery uh, status style, whether it's a percentage style as you can see over here, or a circle, or other feature, uh, other, other options as given over here. So I prefer the percentage one, uh, the signal status style, and all you can see over here. Also. The quick settings panel is also having uh, quite a number of features. Uh, the tiles and layouts are basically the layouts that is there over here. You press the this uh, button over here. Uh, this option is there, and you press over here, and you get the number of tiles. Uh, these are this this is the functionality that the Nexus 4 brought along with it. Uh, other features, cool features, are also available. So. This was a short review of Cyanogen Mod 10.1 Release Candidate 1 and if you like this video please subscribe the channel and like and click uh, thumbs up for this video. Uh, I'll be providing you with uh, many more videos related to, related to uh, various ROMs of Cyanogen Mod as well as uh, other AOSP and AOKP ROMs as well as Viper and other sensor ROMs. Uh, so please subscribe this channel for great more videos and thanks for watching this video once again. See you in the next one.